Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So, uh, a couple of things have happened since the last episode. Um, Mech Bay, real quick. So, the Hatchetman is still the same. Spectre is still the same. Well, Spectre is slightly different. Let's have a look at that. Going to get a chance to use this today, just not in the way you think. So... We made a couple minor adjustments. We had two ER medium lasers on this arm before and a flamer over here. We had an extra clan flamer, so I added that in. Added a clan machine gun I picked up in the store for 10 grand um, and a half ton of ammo. Uh, wait, that's heavy machine gun ammo. Damn, that's not gonna work. Why wasn't it giving me a, uh, a notification saying that uh, it's not the right type of machine gun ammo? Yeah, it's me missing the um, stuff again. Well, you know how my brain works. Uh, let's go to... Um, let's do this then. The ER laser was nice, but I'm thinking we're going to go have to go this route and we're going to have to go with a full ton of ammo, which really sucks. Um, so this does more damage to the armor, less damage to structure. So we want to strip armor with this thing? Or do we want to just give it a better chance to hit? Uh, with this mech, let's just give it a better chance to hit because our pilot isn't that great right now. I mean, the ammo could cook off maybe. I don't know. We don't have case or anything for it, so it may not be a wise thing to do it this way. But I don't really have much else I can put in here. Um, the tag is elsewhere. So we're kind of stuck with what we have here, unfortunately. So, um, and we still can't go with the, uh, the mace. I pulled it off. You st that's weird. It says it needs two free mech hand actuators, but the problem is, is when I put it onto the... It's so weird. When I put it on the um, uh, the Sentinel, the Sentinel's only got one hand actuator. So it works, but it doesn't work on this guy. That is so weird. Maybe we do this instead. Let's pull this machine gun out. Let's put some claws in this thing, and then I think all the armor is already pretty much maxed out, so let's just put couple points back in the CT like that we'll go with claws so if we get a chance to punch your melee we can do that right because we're planning on doing melee stuff so let's let's go that route that's four days damn it do it we got to get it done so yeah I was poking around and uh, in the store, and I found right here enhanced imaging. It was a million, one million, one, one million seventy four thousand, something like that. So it kind of is like it's technically a no brainer. It's two slots, right? We could drop it in. Um, so yeah let me know what you guys think should I do it should I not do it I mean what is what's there to really lose I turn it on like the pilot so our okay let me just quickly go back let's leave this for now just show you here so our pilot should be able to use this neural interface I think uh, without actually taking any damage if I'm correct on this I'm just kind of up in the air um, so, uh, where are you here? Oh yeah, a dragon took a wound on a, uh, on a, a, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, an encounter or whatever. He's developing a, uh, training regimen for the, war uh, for the, uh, mech warriors and he ended up injuring himself. Um, so anyway, we go to service record, uh, Solaris, is it Solaris Gra Gladiator? No, where is it down here? Warrior... Yeah, Solaris Gladiator, I think, gives us the ability to shirk off.
uh, it doesn't say here everything goes wrong for this pilot yeah you think um, it doesn't say there but I think one of the uh, the perks of the Solaris Gladiator is that he or she um, ah man maybe I'm wrong I thought the Solaris like the Solaris Gladiator has the ability to um, is like immune from damage from neural links and things like that because he's they've been experimented on so I'm pretty sure if that thing fails or, or damage goes to the pilot, he doesn't actually take any damage at all. Let me know in the com I'm, I'm going to look it up and see if I can find the info. But if you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, the enhanced imaging, it's there. We've got it. It's like, it's definitely worth it. So uh, we'll eventually put it in. I just don't know if it's going to happen like right away. I mean, it probably should, but uh, we'll see. Actually, I should have probably double checked to see if we could get any skill points out of these guys. I think China Doll's got some, yeah. So we're gonna put a point into piloting, sure, Drain for extra burn. melee ability, and then vengeance. Do you have any points? Nope. We're getting there though. Um, okay, so today is gonna be a bit of a split episode. We're gonna go to command center. We do have a mission we can pull off. Uh, it's only a half skull, um, and it's against a clan wolf uh, Sibco Alpha Sibco member. So it's going to be a clan battle, uh, but like I said, it's only half skull, so it's not that big of a deal. But what I'd like to do is we're going to pull off a half skull mission. Then I'm going to switch to uh, like play the Royals, and they're probably going to pull off a one and a half skull, maybe, uh, for Clan Wolf here. Now it's against the local government, I believe. Uh, so that should actually work out relatively well. And then I think before the month ends, we should be able to get back, as long as the Hatchetman doesn't get butchered here, the Hatchetman should come back and we've got the Spectre. And then whatever two mechs are available left over from this particular battle, we'll go ahead and roll into this battle here for the second half of this episode. So the battle will have been played already. This one would have already been played, but you're not going to see it until the next episode of the Royals. But... Uh, so I'll play that, get that episode recorded, and then we'll come back and we'll finish off this episode with this mission where we've got our two uh, um, duelist pilots here plus a couple of other regular guys going in to assassinate. Um, I believe this is against the local government again, unfortunately, but uh, whatever it is, whoever it's for, against, yeah, local government. One and a half skulls. We'll go in and do that mission. Now, we do have the second, um, we got the beta pod up and running. So uh, in the barracks, I did pick up the other vehicle pilot, Ren. So we will have another vehicle pilot. Uh, so we'll have uh, four mechs and two vehicles. Now Ren will Good also be uh, rolling out in um, the next Royals battle. So it's all going to really depend on how these battles play out today. Uh, for me, anyway, recording them. So let's go ahead to the command center. Get this sucker started. Take this one. Negotiate. Full salvage. Uh, slowly going up with the Clan Wolf, which is awesome. It says Clan Diamond Shark, but uh, we'll see what happens. Diamond Shark's on the planet now, too, by the way. Uh, I'm not really ex exactly sure how that happened, but uh, Jade Falcon has disappeared, and Diamond Shark is here now, so for this month. So that's interesting. All right, let's deploy and get the sucker done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Feel a tremor. Oh, like do you? There's creatures living beneath the surface. All right. Well, this should hopefully wrap up quickly and get the hell out of here. Uh, let's do something different today, though. Let's go this way. Just because I'm getting bored of this map, we gotta leave this planet sooner or later. So hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Uh, now that we're approaching those one and a half skull missions, we can probably dart over to that one and a half skull I'm planet. Here. But we gotta make the sea bills for that first. So onward. Let's get up here. What are we dealing with? Can we see it yet? No, we cannot. Ooh. An adder. Oh, nice. I'm ready. Uh, that means we can get adder parts, which means we can... Uh, hopefully he doesn't see us here. I am the wind. I'm not going to shoot at him. Well. 
is 50%. That's a lot of ballistic. I wonder if those are like AP Goss rifles. Firing on target. Probably machine guns though. Okay, two leg hits, nice. Yeah, uh, he's not doing you. much. Let's get up over here. Roger that. I'm gonna jump up on this hill next turn, I think. Get up here. Oh, no, he spotted me. Did he or no? I don't think he did. I will be done. I don't think he did. Primitive. Let's just take a pot shot. Oh, it's got an AMS. All right, well, fair enough. Well, usually it was a kit fox that ran lots of AMS. Oh, he's like. Oh, he spots me now. Reporting minor damage. I gets to go again too. Adder TC. Interesting. Okay. I await your command. I can't make it down into the uh, thing, eh? All right. I'm going. I was hoping I could jump into the trees. I want to try and get stealthy again here. Orders. Double time. Let's go. Don't know if he's going to be able to keep his sensors on me here. Maybe. Find out here in a second if he shoots at me. Yep. All right, we got to close, man. <laughs> we have to like try and stick handle him into a corner. And he goes again. Damage is light. Yeah, I know. I live to serve. No shooting, just running. Okay, I want to try and keep him against the wall there. I want to try and come out a bit and maybe around and keep him in here. So I can get to him with my melee. Gonna keep firing the, S the, the SRMs in case one or two of them get through. All right. You need a fucking large... He's got a shit ton of machine guns too, so... We're about to close with this mother. Standing by. Let's find out what happens. We gotta make some shit happen way. now. Double time. We're in a position we can jump out of here too. We can jump up here if we have to, I think. Um... Yeah, let's go. Oh, one of them got through. Waiting for we are in range. What's up, yo? Uh, I guess we can't kick him. But we can do a physical weapon attack, which what we'll do. I'm walking here. Engaging. Ah, freak's sake. Okay, looks like he got hit by one. Shit, Enemy it's a backstrike. Got machine guns too. It's a it's a machine gun duel. Ah, uh, he's going twice. Damn it! That flame is not helping you. Not at all. Ready for orders. Um. Okay, we can kick him from here. Let's see if we can take that leg. Acknowledged. He's baking, so it's that's nice. Good, good things for us. Okay, 52. Unstable, and here comes all the machine guns. Yeah, he doesn't have much he can do because of the overheat. Okay, now. Yes, um.
Let's hope we get the leg. Locked on for physical attack. Come on. Ah, god damn it. Here comes the machine guns. Damage. Backstrike. Nope, he's cooling off. I'm your spaniel. Smart choice, buddy. Um, yeah. We gotta keep doing this, because if we don't... There we go. Goes this whole side. Maybe we can get him to bail out here. He's panicking. I can't mess around with this guy, because he can, he can kill me. Watch the flank. Okay. Um, so do we... He's almost cored, almost no damage to the legs. <sighs> Let's finish him. If we can. Let's try and finish him. Rock sock him. Nice hit. Here comes the sheen guns. So it should finish him up. Nope, not quite. Take that. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Save the core. Mission successful. Alright, so now I need to decide. I'm trying to think here, what should we go for? We're getting seven pieces. I'm assuming we're probably going to get an adder part. We've got two different parts of like parts of other adders that we could use. We lost all the headgear, which is kind of shitty, but we need C bills more than anything. So I think I'm gonna have to go with the XL and sell it. And hope that we can get some good stuff out of this. There's all, I mean anything that we get here is good. We can use all of this stuff. All right, we got the adder parts. Beautiful. Five clan machine guns. That means we can upgrade our mech that we have now with these and gain some weight. Clan XL, which we are going to sell. The clan endo steel, I think we can probably just safely sell that for now. We'll hang on to this. AMS ammo, yeah. So that was actually a pretty good get. All right, 17 grand. That's not too bad. How long is that going to take to fix? So six days. Okay, so it's not too bad. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do... I'm going to jump... A, well, I got to go ahead and do the next Royals mission. And then when we come back, or when you see, like, in a second, we'll be taking the Assassinate mission, hopefully, if everything goes well with the Royals mission. If not, then I'll just come back and I'll explain what happened. We'll end the episode there. But, um, yeah, so we'll see you in a second. And we're back. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what happened in the Royals episode. You can go check that out. But what I will tell you, though, is in that episode, I advanced the timeline a bit to get everybody back for the ending of this episode. And a couple things we got. So the first thing I spotted was that there's a duo duel here. So what we're going to we're gonna try and stay true to what I said we were going to do. We're going to go here. We're going to do this uh, mission for Clan Wolf first, the assassinate mission, because we've been kind of building up to doing one of these anyway. So let's do this one. And if everything goes really, really well, then we'll do this one before the end of the month as a duo. It's against Diamond Shark, so I'm not sure at one skull. I mean, we should be okay, kind of. I'm hoping we'll be okay. Uh, what I'd like to do, though, is... Uh, we won't have time. I was going to say make some adjustments to the, um, the Hatchetman. I guess it's going to really depend on what happens in this battle coming up here with this guy. Uh, and the second thing that happened is on advancing the timeline, we did pick up that uh, a clan mech warrior uh, as a bondsman. Now, unfortunately, this is the vehicle pilot, which is kind of weird because we were facing actually a mech warrior. So maybe this guy is part of the ground crew. I, I, have, I don't know. I'm supposed to be the mech warrior, but it's not. So we have another vehicle pilot now who's a bondsman. And I mentioned in the Royals episode that we may want to try and build an entire bondsman lance. Um... So we'll definitely have the ability to do that. We're going to have enough mechs and everything to go ahead and do that. So we might do that. So the primary lance might stay as the Royals. 
and then the secondary lance will be a bondsman lance, which will run every once in a while, and then the last uh, group will be the the duelist and the partner, which will, which will be China Doll for now. So let's have a quick look at our experience. I don't think Vengeance has I'm enough. Oh, he does. Okay, we're going to get tactics up one. Confirm Mech that. Warrior training complete. So we're fives across the board. Beautiful. Now, um, so Command Center, we're going to go ahead and do a mix and match here. Actually, let's look at everybody because since we've got more people coming, i got to decide who's going, though. Um, so Dragon aye, aye. and Smirk. Maybe, hmm, I think it's, uh, I don't know. Tugboat's a, a, hey. a good possibility to go. I'm trying to make a decision now. Do we go with just all firepower? Because it is one and a half skulls. Or do we go with versatility? I think we go with firepower just in case. You know, just in case for whatever reason we need it. Um, sensor sight range. I think we're going to go with that. I still prefer that over a lot of things. Just being able to spot your enemy and getting good sensors on is really, really important, especially in the later game. When you can get come up against some stealthy opponents. Being able to get visuals at long range and be able to hammer them at long range is really important. So we're going to go that route for him. So let's assemble the lance. Actually, Ren, yes, Commander. you've got some points to spend. Let's go... Um, Let's go piloting for for speed. Got an extra five, fifth, or extra five meters. Well, big deal. Um, and then let's go with where are you, Thunder? Waiting for orders. So we got points here. We're definitely going to go gunnery. Mech warrior training complete. All right. So let's go ahead and look at uh, command center. Greetings, I'm kind of iffy on this is on. if this is going to be good or not. So we did take the assassinate mission. It is against the local government, so it is kind of a good thing, I guess, that it's not somebody worse. Man, we got like, man, I don't know. I gotta stop taking pilots because it's just we're we're gonna just run out of money. So let's take out Wrangler and Mist Links and these two out of here. We'll add the Hatchetman. Uh, not you, the Spectre, and we'll bring down Vengeance. And a China doll for her first mission. Hopefully you don't get yourself killed. Um, yeah, let's go. Command interface All right, here we go. So the propagandist is over there with the lance up. Oh, that's the propagandist there. And this is the support lance, I guess. So I'm going to try... Um, uh, it's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. I'm going to try and only have... Oh, they might get reinforcements here. I'm going to try and only have the Hatchetman and the Spectre go after the main guy while my other guys deal with the secondary lance. Uh, but if we get shot at, then I will allow the Hunchback and the Spectre to engage other people. But until that point... I think the goal for them is to just try and grab or kill the uh, propagandist. It's kind of technically a duel, whatever you want to call it. If we were doing lore, we like we enter the battle and we just call out their commander. And I mean, technically we're supposed to be fighting Smoke Jaguar, but it's not happening. So, Spider Fireball. Fucking dude's got some speed, dude. Uh, what else do we have here? Locust. Paka. Trebuchet. Okay, that's interesting. And Spider. 5VR. Orders. Alright, Smirk. Um, we're not going to hit that spider. I'm pretty sure this is the main guy, so let's not shoot him. Let's just get here and see what Roger. we can get target-wise. All right. Now we picked up some good stuff in the Royals episode, which has not been added to anything here. Well, not good stuff, a few things. 
We'll take the height shot. Uh, it's back though. He's going to turn around and be shooting us from the front. So. But if we get a good shot on him, we might actually take out some components. Let's just take a pot shot. Yeah, nothing. It's fine. Genuine disappointment. This guy's going to get murdered. I think I just leave uh, I will be done. vengeance on him. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick some ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. I got some bubble gum machine guns though. Well, we shot the guy at the back more than we did the fireball. <laughs> this guy's standing in the wrong spot. He's like, shit, the fight's over here? Damn. All right, what do we do now? I guess we just stay up top here. I was going to say I was going to get the vehicles to come down and engage some of these guys, but there's no point. Let's just stay up here and murder them. Who's up? This guy, probably. I'm trying to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? If I stay, there's going to be trouble. If I go, it might be double. I don't know how it would be double. I guess he could technically lose his... Uh, I guess he wouldn't lose. I mean, it depends on if he owns his mech or not. I always thought that was kind of weird. It's like... Do mech warriors own their mech? Or do they like... Oh, that guy's going. Do, do most of them own their mech? Or are they... Um, oh, it's a flyer. Or do they get hired to pilot mechs for somebody who owns that mech? I don't know what would be worse, like owning your own mech and then having to deal with the repairs all the time or having somebody else own it, let them deal with the repairs, but you like not really making much in, in coin, you know what I mean? Like in money. You end up being like another job, like you're, uh, you're piloting the power loader in the, uh, in the docks or something, you know, you're making your... 650 an hour or whatever the hell it is you make. All right, let's get up here. Pedal to the metal. Cuz it would seem like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it would depend on where you where you're from. Like the noble houses and stuff, you would probably own your own mech. If you're like a house pilot, come from a noble background, you probably own your own mech. But it would seem like it would just be like the amount of money it would take to just keep the damn thing fixed and in battle, you'd never make that back every mission. Minimum damage. Which is why I understand why like a lot of pirates are just they're just raiding whatever they can, trying not to get in into any fights so that they don't take any damage, you know. You wanna get mechs that actually have hands so you can carry shit away, you know. Doing whatever you possibly can to make as much money as you can. While taking as little damage as you can. What's up, boss? Because you just can't afford to fix anything. Got it. But then even then, if you think about it, if you're like a major house, you, you wouldn't be able to afford to fix all this shit anyways, anyway. The amount of cost it would take. Burn. And it's funny, too, because if you think about, like, Wait my biggest order. frame of reference is, like, World War II. You think about World War II. Well, we got a shot at this guy. It's only a charge, though. 27% for 203 damage. Get the fuck out of town. I'm sorry, but that's like... And I'll barely take anything, too. That's the bizarre thing. It's like... Anyway, um... But yeah, if you think about things like World War II, right? So... Our primary target is taking damage. He sure is. Um, you know, you bring your tanks in on trains, right? You get them all warmed up, set up, ready to go. Then you do your offensive, and then they pull back from for a, a shit ton of maintenance, right? It's, you know, because the war is mostly like your infantry and and your, you know, all your your non-expensive shit, right? Is what your fight is. 
But in Battletech, it's all your expensive shit going into battle all the time. So I don't know how you would, like, sustain that. You just couldn't. The amount of, amount of shit that would be in repair. Like, the Germans had amazingly complex machinery during World War II, right? So at any one time in their fighter arsenal, I think it was they said up to 30% or 40% of the fighters could be grounded for maintenance. Right? And you're, and then I'm sure it's the same for bombers and dive bombers because it was complex. Now, for other air forces, it could be up to 20% 20, 20 or 15%, but it's still a fair number of shit that's being repaired all the time, right? So even though you may you may see the numbers of 1,000 aircraft, it really isn't 1,000. It can only be, it could be between 700 and 850. The rest of them are all grounded and getting repaired, right? Or having basic maintenance done to them. Where are you going? Really? Well, at least he's doing some work, I guess. Right, are you the SRM version? You are. You are the SRM version. Which isn't bad because I think it's got three launchers as opposed to two. I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure the uh, SRM version's got three SRM launchers. Doesn't it have... It's got two in the arm, doesn't it? And one in the in the right torso, I thought? Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, Commander. Alright, Smirk. Um, these guys are making it tough for us to decide what to do here. Let's kill this fucking dart. Acknowledged. Let's not let him get... Uh, or spider, sorry. Let's not let him get any closer than this. Let's get him out of here. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Got his left side, right? We did. We'll just pull over here and blast him again. Spectre's going to come after this guy. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a melee shot on him or not, but definitely going to try. Pair of ER smalls, eh? 2010 fireball. No armor. No back armor. I guess we punch him in the back. We'll see what we can get. I don't know. This guy here. How would you pronounce that? P-W-W-K-A? Is that actually... Paka? Pwaka? Pua because technically it's a, it, it is a name of the unit. It's not a abbreviation or for anything. Eh, well, whatever. Ah, uh, you're just gonna sit there. Okay. Standing by. You just sit there then. Ah, uh, let's not make it easy on him, cause fuck him. Let's get to here. Roger. I was gonna go into the mineral field. But uh, it's going to reduce my chance to hit, and I want to just own this guy. Medium improved heavies. Oh, that's what I want, baby. All right, so let's do... Oh, man, do we go after the torsos, or do we just... we got to OP this guy, because we've got the uh, ability to do it now. Let's try the leg. Attacking from the mission. Okay, the tag's on, though. Nice. Nice. Commander? Got past the armor. Uh, we can melee this guy, right? Alright, we can only kick from behind because I'm assuming we're up, right? Yes, we are. We just try and kick a hole through his back? Sure, why not? Kick a hole through his back. At 28% chance to hit. Here we go. Man, warriors aren't necessarily oh. known for their melee. That's all right. Make them. Structure exposed. We did hit him. What can I do for you? You want thunder? I'll give you thunder. Chicka chicka nope. chicka. All right. Let's hammer this guy's leg if we can. And offensive push here. Switch to slug. Leg shot. Nope. 
I should have just shot him. Good to go. This guy's gonna just shoot him. Taking the shot. I was hoping for a head plank there, but critical hit. Our no luck. Is, making a break for is he? He's going on 17. Where does he gotta go? Oh shit! That's really bad. He could actually get out. He goes before us too. Damn! He's gonna get away. I'm gonna have to get everyone to shoot at him, which is very dishonorable. But armor's holding, Commander. Nothing to see here. I don't know what else to do. He's got the speed. He's gonna be down here, and then the turn after he's gone. So we gotta get one shot at this guy. I wonder if we should OP him a bit to, like, this guy's initiative's down to four now, right? I wonder if we OP him a bit to knock his initiative back next turn. Shit. Here he goes. See what he does. Ah, oh, man. At least he's got, like, almost no armor. So, shooting at him, we sh if we hit his back, he should be pretty much toast. There he goes. Watch, he'll land right in the circle this time. No? Where are you going? Oh, somebody was using a mask. He still has the capability of getting away. I think he's trying to maximize his, his uh, ability to hide. Yeah, I know you got SRMs. Ready for orders. We can't get to him. But we can get right here. Maybe next turn we can get to him. We can shoot this guy in the back though. Cause screw you! Twelve heat. I think I hit something good. Waiting you may be this. our only hope here. Um, why are you not able to run? Unsteady units cannot sprint. Well, damn. I guess because you missed your kick. Alright, you're back to steady. Shit. Are you? Yeah, I think he's gone the wrong way. I don't think he can get up there. Unless he's got jump jets. Receiving you. Uh, we gotta kill that guy. I don't want to fail this mission. We have no I no ability to get to him though. Go to here. At least we'll drop some heat with this shot. Good thing this guy's got. Oh my god! Really? Oh Christ! Engaging with target. I hear you. Um. Yeah, I don't know. All weapons are go. Good to go. There you go, Smirky boy. Dude's all yours. I really. Why is the colors keep changing? Like every mission I send these guys on, the colors are just all different. Like every time it's like a new paint job. Alright, let's see if we can get- uh, I don't think he can get up that hill. I don't think he can. I think he's put himself into a corner here. Well, there goes his leg. He's definitely not running out now. I know he, he damaged himself because of the mask. I think he's got a mask. I think that just- uh, Oh, he's gone. Well, there you go. That wasn't very honorable, but um, it needed to be done because I didn't want to lose this friggin' match. It'll be more effective, I think, once we're in a, like, a little higher levels. Where the mechs just can't, like, sprint away from us. Damn it! Ugh, I'm wounded. Of course you are. He's gonna punch you anywhere. It's going to be in the head. 
Wait, what? Yeah. Standing by. Fuck's sake. Hmm. Let's just get on that flyer again. He's just sitting there, so. Got it. Oh, here he comes. What's he doing, though? Is he gonna melee? Sure is. Because, of course, he is. Ready for orders. Alright, Dragon. Um. So we go on 14. This guy's going on. So this guy's going on 15. Uh, do we have anybody else? We don't have anybody else that can go. Let's go here. Aye, aye. Let's do this. Go after the leg. And use it all, and hopefully we get a hit on him. Nope, we pushed him back to nine, though. Reporting. Critical hit. Orders. All right, now, vigilance, please. Thank you. I can't melee that guy. I don't think because he's flying. So let's just fuck this guy up. Acknowledge. Hey, what's up, buddy? Well, there goes his core. Enemy, watch my knee bubble. Yep. Reporting enemy battle mech down. Heat critical. Shutting down. Fuck's sake. Another reason why I don't want to do melee anymore. <laughs> it's like, I mean, come on. <laughs> aye, aye. I know you run the risk of exploding a mech when, you, when you're chopping it down with a friggin' axe, but... From a gameplay point of view, it's like, really? Really? That's right. I'm it's just another thing that you just don't... Like, why? Why would you... Choose melee, then, if, you, if the mech's gonna blow up in your face? Ow. At least he's overheating, too. At least it looks like he's baking. Yeah, he is. You know what I mean? Like, why would you choose... Why would you choose to, like... Wow, well, whatever. <laughs> we're gonna go with it, because that's what we're gonna do. Man, I'm thinking back to the days of, um... That Black Knight we had. That thing was a murder bot. It was just a murder bot with the, uh, the mask and everything. It was like... Rolling. Holy crap, I remember that thing just, just ripping mechs apart from across the map. We had Berserker... Um, I can't even remember what else we had. I can't use flamers on this guy? Because he's considered a flyer. Fuck's sake. Copy that, Commander. Yeah, he's gonna go now. At least he can't shoot, really. Not without baking himself. I'm kind of. I guess I should consider myself lucky. If he had just flown behind me and hit me with all these lasers, that would have been a big. Like a really big problem because he's got those improved heavy uh, mediums, right? The clan ones, so could have been a real bad time. I'm trying to make sure we get as much salvage off this guy as possible too, because it'll be nice to get those weapons. Although I don't know if I want the mech parts. I mean, he's kind of an interesting flyer, but now nah, he's gonna melee because of course he is. Damage is minor. Commander. And then he floats up. Are you fucking kidding me? Internal structure damage. If that's not cheating, if that's not cheating, I don't know what is. I'm gonna come down to your level and I'm gonna just hammer you from behind, and then I'm gonna float up, away from you, so you can't do a damn thing. I'm just bitching now. <laughs> it's just a mechanic. It's just so funny. All right, let's just shoot him. Let's just freaking shoot him. Enjoy it, buddy. See ya, fucker. We get a head hit? Oh, neural feedback. Enjoy it. Waiting on you, commander. 
Freaking turd burglar. He's done. Like, if you think about the insanity of the game system, Commencing alpha strike. like, no, nobody in their right mind would climb into that thing. Yeah, critical hit. Alright. It's still fun as hell, though, don't get me wrong. It's just, this game is still so entertaining. But it's like, just the realism just goes right out the window. Alright, you run. These two guys should go down pretty quickly, I think. That was, I gotta say though, that was an interesting fight. He's running. He's like, nope. Standing by. I guess he can't really see anybody. Commander. Can't really see anybody. So he's like backing up. Alright, let's get this guy down. I think we're gonna get what we want from this guy here. Although I don't know if the neural interface is gonna drop. Firing. Ah, we missed. Damn it. Alright, good damage. Ah, see ya. Hostile eliminated. Yeah, I think he's got three SRM6, that guy. And we should be able to hopefully finish this guy up here. We got the height advantage. We got the tools. We got the talent. Although I'm not exactly sure why it's such a lousy chance to hit, probably because this guy's really fast, but that's all right. Ooh, the large one hit. And so did the most of the rest. Bail out, bail out, bail out. Bail out. Bail out. You're gonna stay, are you? Standing by. Well, it gives China Doll something to do. Mm, yeah, that's a pretty bad chance to hit. Let's get right down here. It's a little better. That, I'll take the extra 5%. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's 40. Okay, that's even better. Let's go after... Headshot. Firing all weapons. It sounds so dramatic. What can I do for you? Firing all weapons. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. All right. This Zoria looks bizarre too. It looks like it's carrying its ammo around in a container behind it. Well, good. see ya. No retreat. No surrender. And stay down. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, three hundred one thousand, not bad. That's going to be pretty much our repair money. I don't think we took any component damage, did we? No, you look pretty clean. Uh, the hatchetman, though, on the other hand, should be pretty clean as well. Yep, not bad. Okay, let's see what we can get salvage-wise. We could we could pick up this lamb. Hmm. I wonder what it would sell for if we assemble it. So bolt on tandem 20. I'm not going to. Yeah, medium improved lasers. Oh, there's two of them in a stack here. We'll take that for sure. The uh, Removing the uh, negative chance to hit. That's like beautiful for those things. AR-12 sheath beacon. That's a possibility for the. Um... Oh, shit. There's some friggin' dollars right there. I wonder if this is in that, um, the Paca, or if this is in the, um, I'm taking that for money. That's going to be a little over a million C-bills right there. XL gyro, uh, minus 30% gyro weight, which is 30% of one tenth of chassis tonnage weight, but still that's going to add some stuff. For us, double heat sink kit. Prototype double heat sink kit. Ooh, some juicy gear here. LAM XL engine. Oh, it's only 800,000 though. Laser insulators. Holy shit, there's some really good stuff here. Prototype double heat sinks, man. Okay, now what do I take? Okay, the prototype double heat sink kit is fine on its own. Because I got plenty of mechs that have got cores that don't require heat sinks to be added. So this could just go in on its own, although not having the extra heat sinks would be an issue. The laser insulators can go on anybody. 
and we can that's going to open up the ability to um, maybe we take one of these because that'll open up the, the ability to want to go ahead and take the um, large heavy uh, improved laser so if we take one of these guys and let's say we take this uh, man vehicular DNI So I believe this is what you can use for the pilot. Uh, and the guy that I, my main guy can actually resist the damage taken with this. Ah, shit. What do I take now? What do I take? Because this is actually pretty good. Allows moving after shooting. Oh, man. What do I take? We need the sea bills. We need the sea bills. I mean, we don't necessarily have to have these. This is way rarer. Uh, I mean, the other option is to try and take the three lamb parts and hope that those things are in there, not broken. But that's roll... Uh, the chance of three of these showing up in there, it's rolling the dice. Big time rolling the dice. But how often are we going to see this? That's the thing. I'm going to drop that, and I'm going to take this. These will find probably relatively easily medium improved heavy lasers. I, I'm having a really hard time finding the improved versions. I can find the, the normal ones with the minus one to hit, but finding these ones is really hard. Laser insulator is hard. Uh, prototype double heatsink or prototype heatsink kit is relatively hard to find because normally you core the mech and you lose the heatsink kit, but the heat sinks stick around. So that's a good, I mean, I think this is probably the best way to go. That's a major haul. Holy crap. Yeah, we go this route. Two fireball pieces. Oh, we only got two of these. But there's an option for us to hopefully get some more of these in the future. Spider piece. So we got ER micro laser array. Two of them. Clan. Um, 10 times 3. Heat 12. That's, that's one ton, eh? 30 damage. That's kind of a nice spread. It's a point-blank range weapon, though. And it works against battle armor, so that's not bad. I mean, maybe we drop those on the, um, the hatchet man. Mm, it's a lot of splash. Normal machine gun, I'll hold on to that because we are using machine gun. C3 unit, we'll hang on to. So we're going to sell that. So 812,000 right there. Jump jet can go. We got the second laser insulator. Oh, yeah, man. The mask we don't really need. It's just weird. The inner sphere mask is actually better than the clan mask. It weighs a little more. Um, I think it's like maybe like 30 or 25% more or something like that. But its failure chance is lower. Everything else is the same, but the failure chance is lower. So it's like, it's slightly better than the clan version. I'm actually going to get rid of it because I'm, I'm, I'm not using those right now. And I could certainly use the sea bills right now. We're bound to find more. There's plenty of thorns and stuff around too, right? So we can get them off them. I'll keep, well, we don't really, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the SRM ammo for now. And we got a prototype double heatsink. Nice. So that was a pretty good roll. Patchwork materials as well. We're getting pretty lucky here, I gotta say, with our rolls. 320 core, 180 core, I think we've already got. We've got two of those, so we can sell one. Sell that thing. We'll keep the C3, I guess. One sensor ping. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, I feel really good. We got the extra, we got the extra medium improved laser, too. Holy shit, man. We're getting lucky. 
All right, 38,000. Not bad. So, oh, man, with that... Um, with that roll, holy crap, I don't that's changed everything. Let's do this. We'll get the wavering back. I'm wondering we got six days before the waverns before all our mechs are back, actually. We got twenty days to wait before we can actually do another duel. Let's just take a second here. I want to go through and get the wavering back, because I'm interested to see. Job's done, Commander. Oh thank you. Oh thank you very much. Because we might be able to turn this guy into like a, a massive laser firepower boat. Um, so we got three laser weapons on the one arm. So if we do, and humor me here for a second, this, take that out. Uh, we need to keep two. Right, we do this, and then come down here, do that, that, and that, and then we do this, and then we do this, ah, man, we're not even going to be anywhere close, because these need to be prototype double heat sinks. What's our weight? Okay, hang on a second. Um, do that, and then we do... We've got one prototype double heatsink, which is not even going to help us. Uh, for the sake of argument, if we go ahead and remove those guys, let's say, and then we go to... Uh, where are you here? Where are the cores? Down a little bit? Yeah. Let's grab like a 280. Oh man, we can even go to a 320. So that's still ridiculous heat. <sighs> yeah. just not enough of a so what's the difference here way too much so that's 51 um, actually 45 with one heat sink but hang on a minute um, where are you here so clan double heat sink kit let's just put For sake of argument, because this is really all we can do right now. That. That. How close are we? It's still 15 heat. It's only 160 max damage, too. Right? It's only 160. Movement 7-11, though, it would allow us to get in and hammer people really hard. Like if we pull the active probe out and put the ECM in, instead, to keep us hidden. I mean, it's a possibility. You know? Um, I'm going to have to read up on this guy and this guy and our Solaris pilot and see which one... Like, that would be kind of cool. And while it's not bad, like, what does it take up? The whole upper part. Everything except for sensors. So you could add the tracker sensors to that. Zero percent failure on activation, three percent failure on a consecutive turn. So you could probably go a couple of turns safely and then turn it off. Oh, man. I think I would probably only turn it on when I was planning on doing a called shot on somebody. 
because I mean if you look at it the uh, what it gives you to bonus to hit you get that with the fire control system predator with the exception of the recoil reduction it's pretty much the same although I think the predator gives you plus two at long range not plus one and it might be minus one at minimum range for the predator although it doesn't give you the minus one recoil but still and this gives you the bonus initiative and a maximum evasion ignored so if, and then 10 percent called shot which would be great if you're just going to target somebody um, you turn it on target somebody's legs turn it off but then I would rather have it the predator all the time one you're saving two tons with the fire control system predator right and two it's on all the time right it's it's you're just constantly using it all the time whereas this you can't constantly use it all the time you have to turn it off every once in a while so it's a nice trade-off but I mean I know it's an interesting it's an interesting piece of kit the same as the enhanced imaging right um, yeah and I can't use it because it um, this will fill the head so while not giving you a bonus to hit it does give you initiative and maximum evasion pips bonus accuracy well, I guess you one accuracy bonus one to gunnery which gives you a couple of extra percentages to hit and a 5% chance of failure on consecutive terms after the first increase your call shot modifier by plus 20% so I mean I, I don't know I guess it's I guess for me it's an issue of reliability like I like maybe it's because I like having gear that I don't have to think about so the fire control system predator I don't have to think about turning it on and off it's just always giving me a constant bonus it's a constant fixed bonus that I know I can rely on because you know me I always forget to turn shit on I don't I, I, I can't remember half the time if I've got what's going on and do I turn my ECN on to active or, or passive or what do I like you know what I mean what do I do so mm, yeah man I don't know if we can get it in the hatchman though I'm willing to give it a shot we'll see how it goes just gotta remember to turn it on and off actually let's go ahead um, actually you know what I'm gonna make some changes to the mech between episodes we got 14 days to wait for vengeance to come back anyway so I'm gonna make some changes to the mech some minor tweaks we got the Clint back now we can see about outfitting this and as weird as it sounds I mean this because it's 45 tons it's it could be the option that we use this guy as the um, laser boat because we can put anything we want in it right it's it's I mean it's pretty fast 7-eleven right what we were going to get out of the uh, out of the Wayburn so it's got two hands to um, jump pack booster I mean like we could put rather than going too much laser right we could just go with a couple put the stealth in it oh we need an ECM right uh, but we could put a laser insulator in each arm that would help and then I think if we go with um, just a regular clan double heatsink kit we could probably eke it out of there yeah I mean we got some weight left so we might be able to I don't think the prototype double heatsink kit is going to give us that much because we can't I, I've only got the one heatsink so it's not going to really give us what we want you know yeah it's like 16 we can't increase it at all so this is what's the difference here uh, almost it's what 18 right so it's a marginal difference we got two double heat sinks we could throw in we don't I mean we're I'm missing clan I mean we have to go with a regular double our regular double heat sink kit here I think yeah I'm gonna mess around with this offline because it's gonna take a while to figure out what I want to do here but we can definitely do a laser build but still I think we're at we're at the point now where it's like we just don't have it like this is 120 damage right and if I do the medium laser build like I had before 
I guess we can't really do it on this guy. I was talking about the adder. So we can't do it on this guy. Still got two more slots, but we don't really have the heat for anything that's like too hot. You know what I mean? I mean, we could just do backup mediums and only fire them if we need to, you know? Still 11 over. This is what I mean about when you're when you're working with lighter max or, the, or when you're first starting out and you don't really have a really reliable chance to hit with everything. Sinking your 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 you're sinking a lot of um, a lot of your um, reliability into hoping that you can hit with this thing. Because if I can't hit with this thing and I pew pew with a couple of medium lasers, I might as well just have extra medium lasers and fit a whole bunch more in and not have to worry about my heat problems, right? Now this doesn't have the hard points for it, obviously. When I mean, we got one more in the leg, but you know, but you, you know what I'm saying though? Because you're not fighting mechs that you need to take off 80 points of armor. Like if you're if we're fighting heavies and assaults, yeah, I totally get it, right? You want to be ripping that armor off as as fast as you can. But when you're fighting like mostly lights and mediums, there's those few instances where you encounter something that's like like a 55 tonner that's really heavily heavily armored like a Wolverine or something. But for the most part, you're not really engaging those kind of mechs, so you don't need that really super heavy weapon. It's nice to have it, and if it works and you get a good chance to hit with it, great, put it in. But if you don't, the volume really speaks, you know, it speaks loudly, right? Anyway, I'm going to leave this mech for now. I'm going to try and figure out what I'm going to do here. But it's nice to have all that gear because it's going to give us, certainly going to give us a lot of options. Um... And maybe we, maybe I do a heavy laser build on the adder here, like a heavy medium laser, both arms, and then a bunch more lasers like we've got going on in the mislinks currently. And then we got ER smalls, the medium heavy, and ER medium. Mm, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'm interested to think, um, to hear what you guys think. Just drop some comments in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, until next time, we'll see y'all later.